this is Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro and you know what? You're looking wonderful tonight. You're just looking fantastic. So you inspired me to teach you this Clapton classic, Wonderful Tonight. And I'm going to be breaking down the chords and I'm going to be breaking down that little wicked intro lick for you too. So you can play the whole thing just like Clapton does. This is a lot of fun. This is an excellent song for two ukuleles, 10thumbspro.com. Check out the website. All of our songs listed alphabetically by artists. New songs Wednesday, new songs Saturday. Social links below plus Skype lessons. But if you came just because you look wonderful tonight, I dig it and I respect it. I want you to grab your ukulele, grab your brain, grab your attention span. Follow me on in and let's break this lesson down. All right, Eric Clapton, Wonderful Tonight. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to play the rhythm and the Wicked Riff. Excellent song to play with another person. This is an excellent two ukulele song. And it's in the key of G major. And in fact, the whole riff is based on the G major pentatonic, so you can also take a fat, nasty solo if you want with your friends. We'll talk about that a little later. First, let's break down the chords. We have a G major. D major and a C major. You're also going to see a G major 7, all right? But we're going to use that as a passing tone. You're also going to see an E minor 7, and we're going to use that as a passing tone in this walk down part too. But let's break down the principal the principal loop. This would be the intro and it's going to look like this. Now that is the intro, which is also the bass for that. Part two, okay? So you're gonna play that in the beginning of the verse, the intro, and in the bridges as well. Now, okay, the strum pattern, I'm going down, you up, up, down, up, down, you up, up, down, up, down, you up, up, down. Get that just over the G chord, and once you get that strum pattern down tight, you should do it from the G to the D to the C. Down, you up, up, down, up, down, you up, up, down, up, down, you up, up, down, up, down, you up, up, down, up. Once you get that, you have the majority of the song, at least the intro and the first half of the verse. So it happens two times in the intro, and then in the verse it happens two times at the beginning, and then you're going to switch over to the C, to the D, then to the... Alright, and what that looks like, it goes C, D, my G chord and what I'm doing is I'm doing the C for one, D for one, and I'm going to go on the G chord, pluck the G note, which is the E string, pluck, down, switch to that G major 7, which is just barring these three frets and letting the G open, pluck again, down, and then I'm going to play that E minor 7 and I'm going to pluck the E string, and then do the regular strum pattern. Pluck, new up, up, down, up. All right, so if you take that whole verse from the top with the first half, which is the G, D, C, it looks like this. C, D, and then you start over.
All right, let's put the whole verse together from the very top. All right, so let's do it together. Here we go. Start with the G. One, two, three, four. And it just starts over. Now, after the first verse, you're gonna play this part. We'll call it the turnaround one time, all right? And then you go right back into the second verse. And the second verse is the same as the first verse, right? to the sea. Walk down. C. D. And then you go G. This time G two times. Alright? Because then we're going to go into a different part. And the different part is kind of based on the end of it. We're going to call it the bridge. And the bridge is going to go C. D. Walk down. Then it's going to go C, D, C, D, and then back into the intro. And that intro part's going to happen two times, and that's when you're going to play that two times, okay? So if we do that whole little bridge from the very top, it's going to look like this. Also, that last D, you're going to play it and let it ring and then start over. So from the very top, this part looks like this. And so part goes, I feel wonderful. All right, right back into this. And this happens two times. And this is when you're playing the solo, right? Here, you go back to the G and you start verse 3. Alright? Okay, now verse 3 is a little different than verse 1 and 2. Why? Because at the end, that part where you walk down, you're going to play it twice. Okay? So if we go through the whole verse 3, it's G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D. That part two times, like normal. C, D, like normal. Walk down like normal, but then back to C, D, and you walk down again, and then you go C, D, G, and once you're back on G, it goes back into the same intro loop that we've been doing the whole time, and it just does this until it fades out, and you do the solo over this two times. And when you finally finish, you finish on a G chord. All right. Okay. So you have the you have the two pieces to the song. Now it's time to learn that riff. The riff looks like this. Okay. All based on the G major pentatonic. And what I'm doing is I'm starting with my fifth, my ring finger on the fifth fret of the E string and my pointer finger on the third fret of the E string. And I'm using all three fingers and I'm doing a full note bend. I want to play this note. All right? So I'm bending up to this note, coming back down. So bend all the way up, back down, and then you're going to take your finger off and play that third fret. And when you play that third fret, you're going to hammer back up to the fifth. All right? I like to 
pluck it, play the third, and then a three hammer again. So this note here is an A note, which is part of the D chord, and you should aim to finish this note on that D. So the part goes G here, and when it hits D, that's where you want this note to finish on. All right, the next part is going to be just another big bend, back to the third fret, but instead of going three hammer onto the five, you're just gonna go up here and grab the fourth fret of the C string. So the second phrase, and this note you wanna play when you land on the C chord. This is an E note, and E is part of the C chord, all right? And that's what basically good phrasing is, is he's finishing these little licks with chord tones of the chords that it finishes on. So the first lick, finishing on the D, second lick, finishing on the C, and your third lick is going to go over the D chord and finish on the G chord, and it looks like this. You're bending up again from the fifth fret, back to the third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, pinky eighth fret, back to the 5th fret of the A string, and then slide up to the 7th fret, and then back down. So that last phrase. Put the whole thing together. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down the play along. Um, you have all the pieces, you got the keywords, and we're just gonna go ahead and rock this bad boy out. Let's do it.
Now you can play this one for you, sweetie. You can sing it out. If you don't have two ukuleles, you can kazoo the solo. It doesn't really matter. You can do it any way you want. It's a lot, a lot of fun to play with another person. You can really learn how to jam on this song too. Remember G major or the E minor pentatonic, depending on how you look at it, to take a fat, nasty solo. Get involved. Help us grow. Patreon.com is our digital tip jar. A dollar a month, and it helps us grow. And all we're doing is putting that energy, those good vibes, right back into tenthumbspro.com. And until next time, keep on playing ukulele, and we'll keep on bringing the lessons. All right, take care. Big hug from Ten Thumbs to you.